Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We have seen a lot of sunshine today, a few high clouds drifting in. As expected in the afternoon, some high cirrus definitely uh, starting to move through parts of the Colleen area as we take you live out there. This is in Colleen. This is our live Centex roof system sky tracker. It's on the rooftop of one Colleen Center. No precipitation, some high clouds drifting through. Traffic seems to be moving pretty smoothly there. And it looks like temperatures for the most part in Colleen at 94 degrees. It is also 94 in Temple, 93 in the Waco area. And temperatures about the same. As you work down toward the Brazos Valley, we've got 94 degrees in College Station and a little bit cooler up in Palestine, right at 91. You notice the heat index? Well, I don't see any triple digits. <laughs> that is some good news. Feels like 92 in Mahia, 95 in Hillsboro, 94 in Brownwood, and a little bit hotter up in Comanche. You can see the current heat index right at 98 degrees. There's the frontal system down to the south of us. Showers and a few isolated thunderstorms have been firing up, but not on top of us. They've been well to our south and to our west. You can kind of see where the uh, cluster is. The brighter white clouds indicate the taller clouds. That's where the thunderstorms are south of the St. Angelo area and west of Saint, uh, the uh, Saint, uh, San Antonio area, I should say there. It's right towards going southwest roughly at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So again, this evening, clear to partly cloudy skies. Still not looking too bad, but by 7 o'clock, Temperatures slowly falling back down into the upper 80s in most areas. By later on tonight, we may see clear skies for just a little bit. Otherwise, some high clouds will be drifting across the region. Still, no precipitation. So it looks like by midnight, temperatures back down into the mid-70s in most areas. And by tomorrow morning, with that wind out of the northeast, again, it's a dry wind that will lower the humidity. And look at that. Again, upper 60s to around 70 degrees to start the day tomorrow. So not looking too bad. And there is a frontal system on the way. As I put this into motion, here comes the front moving through. So some high clouds may start to drift. And I think temperature should make it into the low to mid-90s for highs tomorrow. And then we start to feel those more of a northerly wind kick in here. So that may give us a few more clouds here across the region. And then that front begins to sag down late tomorrow night and by early Thursday morning. Temperatures again pretty refreshing. 60s across the board under mostly clear skies. And then as we go throughout the day on Thursday, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures again climbing into the mid, maybe a few upper 90s, but there could be quite a few lower 90s too, which is about where we should be for this time of the year. As we uh, track the tropics for you, I wanted to show you this little disturbance. Again, it's down in the southwestern part of the Gulf of Mexico. The latest track from the National Hurricane Center takes it to the north and then north east. So a 40% chance in this orange area of any tropical development here in the next five days. You'll notice where it is. That's up uh, toward parts of Alabama over toward Georgia and the good part of uh, the panhandle of Florida and West Florida too. So we'll watch that closely. But again, staying well away from Texas. So the forecast for tonight, we'll call it partly cloudy, 68 degrees, the low temperature winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then mostly sunny tomorrow, very seasonal, 94 degrees, the high winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as we look ahead here, this is the Waco Mattress Center long range 10 day forecast, high and dry weather mid to maybe a few upper 90s there on Friday and Saturday, but we're looking at pretty quiet weather. And then next week, we're going to watch a frontal system begin to move in here, and that could bring a few changes with some cooler weather and chances of rain there starting on Tuesday, uh, lasting on again, off again, maybe Wednesday and Thursday. Depends on what the front wants to do. Temperatures, though, around 90 degrees or so for highs. So those lows will go up a little bit in the lower 70s. And again, high and dry weather down toward Bryan and College Station. Still a bit on the warm side, upper 90s here as we hit the weekend. Still looks good, and there's that rain possible on Monday and Tuesday of next week. And I even have an 88 in there, an Adam. 88. 88 on Wednesday. <laughs> That's if we get the clouds and the rain. That'll keep those temperatures. I was going to ask you about that. 